What's up everyone, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Xanadu Next for the PC. Hoping to dear god this will be the finale episode for this. I am still in, uh, for, oh excuse me, Castle Strange Rock. That place is huge. The capital Y or whatever the hell they're people are saying nowadays. game I'm trying to start and I've been really 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 looking forward to and I've had on my freaking steam for like at least a year if not longer and uh, I'm super looking forward to it it's actually a really popular game I mean it came out like a couple years ago like, like what five years ago six years ago Something like that. But, uh... It's still, like, really popular. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, what is this? An elixir. Fucking cunt. Okay, whew. I have a feeling bad things will happen if the timer counts down to zero. And I don't want to find out what it is. Oh wait, I think this is the thing. Yeah. There's a chest here. Okay, that's where that is. Alrighty. I did, okay, make sure I actually took the damn thing. <laughs> Salute 
boost gate controls. that up and uh, yay another floor oh oh it an exceedingly evil presence can be felt in the area uh oh is this it oh my god thank you god and ooh. just as I expected you came sir knight No need to look at me like that. You have arrived at the very place where my husband will be soon will soon be revived. I must say, I'm impressed. While I was in the village, I truly owed you a great debt of gratitude, Sir Knight. Since you have come all this way, I really should express my deepest of thanks by allowing you to join our side. However, as I mentioned before, I simply cannot overlook the existence of my husband's ultimate enemy, the Sacred Sword. Tonight there will be a banquet. For the opening toast, I shall fill the chalice with a knight's blood. If I use the blood of the brave soul who wields the sacred sword, I'm sure it'll be like sweet nectar to my husband. You best let us handle this knight. Wait, what? Nope, that didn't do shit. Well, well, as inelegant as ever, I see. Brave Knight, I've come to aid you. I, oh, uh, you okay there, buddy? Truly been a while, Princess. <laughs> oh, wow. I hope you prefer Black Bride. Uh, okay, I guess he's doing his thing. Galaxy seems to be nearby. So we really need to clear the way? Yeah, let uh, Theobald do his thing that he's doing. Bow down, insolent curs. What do you have to say now? Wait, what do you have to say now that I have stripped your bodies of all will? Irk, I guess. Better than Theobald having a little quiz right there. Brave Knight. Nothing in service now. Please, follow me. My husband is waiting for you. Ooh. Okay, so... Did you happen to learn the secret which the Dragon Slayer holds within itself? Yes, I did. No doubt you'll need to make use of that power in this final battle. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Dragon Slayer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here. That's what I expect of the Black Bride. Such power. I don't foresee us leaving the state anytime soon. Such power she wields. Lady Flirt will be with us soon. Okay. Did I get to Careless? No, she pretty much did it. It's a, oh, God, we'll be fine. Yeah, no, 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 most of you will be fine. I don't know what... I don't know what his issue is. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, save. Oh, God. He's a dragon, so he's probably going to use fire type attacks. I wonder if I should go back and get the 
fire cap. Actually, you know what? I think I will do that. Actually, you know what? I do have this that increases mine. That does how much? It does nine resist. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on just to see if he even does fire damage. If it's not fire, or if it doesn't count as fire for whatever reason, I'll just put that back on. But I'll just put mind on just to help with magic resistance. And just, I'll just see whenever I actually, like, fight him and whatnot. Time is nigh. Soon the world shall be drenched in darkness. The utopia has been soiled by the vast darkness of the void. As a descendant of Kublai Khan, I, Lysalot, beseech you. Princess, could that be? Indeed, to the same seal of the Shrine Maiden used when I passed on the Dragon Slayer. This is undoubtedly my sister's work. However, I don't fully understand this seal. Is it possible? Is it possible that we are merely going about this in quite the wrong way? Come forth as my guardian and husband. Dragon King Gaussus. Wait, Guardian? Oof. Oof, you got a oof looking. What's up with your wings? How would that even work? I mean, you're Dragon King, you can do whatever the hell you want, I guess. Impressive. The Sacred Maiden's magic had triumphed utterly over the dark powers. She plotted well, my wife Lisa Lot. Deceiving me even deceiving even me for five hundred years, keeping me sealed away within herself. What? So a brave hero was chosen in this era. You know nothing. You and I, we were born from that woman. Yeah. <clears throat> Lisa Lot. Your wit, your courage, simply admirable. She is most suited as a dragon's beloved. No other human shall have her. I waited, preparing to crush you for being the Sacred Sword's chosen. And this time around, mayhap the reign of darkness shall begin henceforth. Oh, it. Oh, here we go.
Ow. Bitch. Ah, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, I don't want this either. But I mean, I thought it was gonna do like not this. Ow. Ow ow. You bastard. That height a little ish. Just get your ass down here. God. Look at Ah oh, you fucking really Ow. I really have to hit him with the well, I get, yeah, I mean, it did say I have to hit him with a Dragon Slayer, but... And then... Dragon Slayer a skill? Oh! That's a lot. Any time now. Should have gotten myself back to level 20. You, you despicable. So you are worthy of facing me. But be warned, do not think this is the full measure of my power. I can like, I'm about to say, I know that's not it. Roar? Roar. Ruer. Dragon noise. Night, behold the advent of the true king of the void. I shall destroy you along with a despicable sword. You were just a very unpleasant thing. Most mean indeed. Super bright. That. Ah, what? Okay. Ah, oh, no. Ah. Hey, what the? What? What? Okay, so those blue things freeze. Ah. Not really. And Sheboygan. Maybe? Yeah, looks like final death throws. Oh, God, you're ugly. I mean, I know I'm no looker, but Jesus Christ. Oof. 
inside, you fucker. God, I probably should have gotten to level 20 doing the thing. Or going down to level 10 and then going up to 16 or 18 or something. Achievement unlocked Dragon Slayer. Damn freaking Skippy. Brave Knight. Are you alright? Uh -huh. Has Galvis? <laughs> Galvis. What the hell did I get Galvis from? Galsis. Been defeated? Should have seemed that way, but. Knight, the words Galsis spoke before you fought. What did the creature say? It was quite like that which the Black Bride would utter. Elise. Brave knight. This is not over. This is not yet over. Not for as long as I remain Gauss's wife. Prince Elisa, let enough of this. Stage Theobald? I'm quite certain everyone saw it as well. Princess Lisa Led has, for some reason, assumed that appearance is such. Will you explain yourself? I speak of your true intentions. I... Lise. Five hundred years ago, what happened? What happened after you sealed us away? If the Gausses would have chosen to keep us within Castle Strange Rock. Yet there upon the island of Harleg did you stay and protect us. But I failed to understand your reasoning behind sealing the Dragon King within yourself. Because of the words Gauss has said earlier, there's no way we could not notice it. Fleur. What have I... What course can I take to make it right? We were born as twins into the royal family, and as such we were both trained to be sacred maidens. As is the norm for twins, we developed irreplaceable memories together. Perhaps, due to the intense training we endured, our bonds grew far deeper than the norm. Lise. The ever lighthearted and carefree Fleur. With my frail body, I think I can I even envied you a bit from what I remember. I did not want to, the burden of the maiden seal to be yours to bear. I wanted you free <clears throat> of those tethers, free to walk your own path to happiness. For Gauss to be sealed away to be sealed within a maiden is much akin to the proverbial stake in the coffin. And the concept of marriage? But you would be unable to have even the tiniest bit of a normal life. So the night before our 16th birthday, I heard that you had been chosen to be the maiden. Ah. Thinking about how weak my body was, when can someone understand the reasoning? Still, with the reality so prominent in my mind, a chasm... Wait. <sighs> Damn. Fucking voice today. Still, with the reality so prominent in my mind, a chasm in my heart opened wide. My sister had just been burdened with a terrible fate. I simply refused to allow that one reality to happen. I cursed myself for having such a weak constitution. Sis? Oof, that armor, that's just very... There's a whole lot of stuff going on there for that armor. The maiden selection process was decided in utmost secrecy. Who had the audacity to... I see, it was Twala. It was Lorelei, was it not? You show is... I mean, you are quite correct. She would marry the Dragon King, and thus inherit a vast amount of power. Intending to use that power and the maiden training to trick Gaussus, she proposed I seal him away within myself. Maybe, if the Dragon King vanished from Xanadu, then Fleur wouldn't have to become a sacred maiden. Lorelai, was there no limit to her wretchedness? In her eyes, I was but a tool to facilitate the release of the Dragon King. But it's so telling, there seemed to be yet one shining ray of hope for me. I only... I only wanted you to be happy, Lise. Only a strong maiden such as myself would do, and... So I thought... Yeah. I know. Thank you, my beloved Fleur. You see, that's why I wish for your happiness. 
least say. Eh? There was no other way. Wait, there was no other with a body of my constitution. So I accepted the proposal Lorelei offered. And so before the day had ended, I sought out the seal that lay deep within the castle. Thus is the story behind the Black Bride. Yes. Not long after the battle between Dragon King and Xanadu started, Flora and her companions began their assault on Castle Strange Rock. Though it seemed the fight was in Xanadu's favor, there was a single miscalculation. A miscalculation? The legendary wielder of the sword never emerged. Ooh, God, excuse me. Sacred Sword only grants true power to the brave soul it chooses itself. Even though Flora wielded it with conviction, she was unable to deal any grave wounds to Gaussus. As I suspect. Okay, so she can use the sword. So anybody can technically use the sword if they have it. There's only the person the sword chooses can actually, I guess, use its true power. Then does that mean while the fighting was raging on? Yes, it was probable that every single person would have had their life extinguished. I waited, watching the battle unfold, biding my time for a chance when I could seal away the Dragon King. Unfortunately, that chance never materialized, and you finally faced off against Gaussus. And so... I used magic to seal away time on the Dragon King, and swept you up in it as well. So you... That pet petrification was in order to save us? Okay, hold up. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, Lise didn't want Fleur to be burdened with the whole Sacred Maiden thing, so she tried to, like, seal away Gal Galsus herself. But he was already sealed away under the castle. Lorelei tricked her into, like, letting him out. And then resealing it inside of her. So she let him out. Or unsealed Gaussus. So he's attacking the land. Uh, Flore goes after him with the Dragon Slayer sword. Lise realizes that she couldn't kill him. Because she wasn't the chosen one for the sword. And then that's when she decided to actually seal him inside of her. And to freeze everyone. If I'm understanding that right. Yes, my apologies. In order to save you all, I had to. By the Phoenix's flame. After those events, I then sealed the Dragon King's body as if it were a guardian. Okay. Alas, the time marched on, his strength slowly returned. And I was unable to suppress him with my powers any longer. So those were the circumstances which led to our release from the stone? Yes. On just that day, the dying knight was brought to my side. It's a me. It seemed like the duty had been left to me, one who had strayed down the path of evil. Though he was fading away, I felt a radiant strength from the soul of that wounded knight. I thought the brave hero of the Sacred Sword may have finally appeared. So I decided to entrust this knight with my one final hope. We, we had not a clue until now. I was entirely as I intended it. You have done nothing wrong. As long as Gaussus was not freed, then things would not have, things would have gone on as such. Lise, I've truly caused a great deal of trouble for everyone. However, it isn't over yet. The entire dilemma has not yet been overcome. What do you mean by that? Because I kept Gauzer sealed away with me for so long, we have become merged. Oof. Right now I am Lisalad, but at the same time I'm also the Dragon King Gaussus. Ooh. That sucks. No. There, there remains to us but one way to thwart the Dragon King. Brave Knight, please drive the Dragon Slayer through my body. Ooh. And Fleur, you would need to seal me through the Sacred Sword. I I, I can't. I won't do that. In the end, I think I've only caused you pain. Please find it in your heart to forgive your flawed sister. Why must we? Isn't there... Isn't there another way? Unfortunately, we have not the time to debate this. 
Even now, Gauss has swiftly recovered from the wounds he's been given. But... I have lived 500 years for the sake of this moment. Okay, so I get it now. She tried to, like... She freed Gauss's... Pose as his bride to trick him and I guess Lorelai into thinking that she was evil. Uh, I guess Lorelai was just a bitch in the first place. And then the hope that everyone would go after Galsus. Flora took up the Dragon Slayer and I guess she thought that she would have been able to kill him with it, but then realized she couldn't. And like, I guess, like a last ditch effort, she froze everyone in stone. And then sealed Gauss's inside of her like a guardian. And then just waited until the sword, um, the rightful sword bearer, showed up. And then kind of like the events just started unfolding. Okay. That's actually kind of clever, but slightly bitchy. Why sages? Fleur, I beg you. God, that just fucking blows. Such cruel words a princess doth utter. It is possible you have become friends. Were possible to take your steed, I would gladly accept this burden myself. I'm truly grateful that the Sacred Sword chose one such as you. I'm ready, brave knight. Ooh. Raise your sword. I truly wish to thank you for your efforts. Please end this all by your hand. While our fates have deemed it otherwise, I would have liked to meet you under more normal circumstances. Oof. God. That just completely sucks. So she didn't do all that because she's evil. She kind of did it all to save everyone. But it was still kind of bitchy. I mean, she did kind of unleash this ultimate evil. Thank you, brave knight. For someone born with such a feeble body, really did live for a long time. Yeah, you were like 500 years old. I was only 16 years old. When a babe is born, it cries. The onlookers cheer in great delight. When thine time to leave is nigh, the onlookers do not but cry. Thyself alone doth bear a smile. To the proverb of Xanadu. Lise, she has such a peaceful look. Princess Florette, it is time we go. I understand. Sir Knight, please keep my sister just like that. Lise, you are always concerned about ensuring my happiness. For me to repay you for that, there is but one solution. Let us be together forever, in utmost cheer, like those childhood days long past. Ooh. Lady Floret, what are you? Sir Knight, along with the sages. I bid you farewell. What? Uh, what? That was a very clever idea that she had. To save everyone, but at the same time, it's like, uh.
bird thing? Okay, so she fused with her sister and they became a bird? A bird? What the? Yeah, exactly. Is that Lady Florette? A white phoenix. I understand now. By assuming that shape, Lady Florette will be able to keep Gauss's seal for all eternity. However, since it is an immortal creature, her visual will also be eternal. But how could she have become a phoenix? Wasn't even aware Lady Flaret had that much power. Lady Flaret will not stand at watch alone. Lady Lisa Lit is with her as well. Hmm. So you're saying this resolution can only be achieved because the sacred maidens are twins? So in the end, it seems like nothing we did was of any use. Nay, we may yet have a role. Even when all seems lost, we may be all that remains in the future. Oof. Would you not agree, Knight? What a very pointy nose. Oh, well, at least that a semi-happy-ish ending. I mean, she merged with her sister and turned into an immortal bird three years after the War of the Knights. A death knell was rung for the days of old, and a fresh wind began to blow. My God, my Though a relic of that passing age, he continued to walk the path of a knight undeterred. What the hell are they saying? The Even after these events now told, we continue to travel together. Our wanderings took us many places, but often we were met along the way by a white phoenix. Was he pursuing those enduring maidens? Or was it they who led him onward? He spoke a little of the events which occurred between himself and the others. Even to this day, he still carries that sword to every place we visit. While we witness the unfolding of this new era, his strength is necessary for the sake of the people. This is what I've discovered about the last lone night. Still. Perhaps this is merely a requiem devoted to his fellow fallen knights. Perfectly fitting for an awkward fellow, don't you think? Oh god. Whoa. Finally done. Xanadu next, everyone. God. This was a freaking journey. God. I enjoyed the shit out of this game. Very much so. I just, I loved it. It was fucking fantastic to me. I'm wondering if I can, like, find a copy of, like, the original version and see how that plays according to this one. I don't know. White Lion Black. I have no idea what they're saying. Oof. Miko Ishikawa, Takayuki Kusano. Supervisor Shinzi Yamazaki. Oh, God. Now, 
Yeah, I can't make up what they're saying. 2005 All Rights Reserved by Nihom Falcom Corporation. Falcoms.co.jp. Xanadu next. Oof. Duh. Tomorrow we'll begin our journey once more. Lise Florette, what do you see of this world from the sky? The knight is certainly doing his best. Please watch over him, both of you. The orphan is from where I began, by Charlotte L. Wells. Oh. Total time. Oof. Well, 18C. Damn. Skills. I got all 42. Treasure box covered. 96. I missed. What did I miss? She got used. God damn it. Oh, damage taken. I died four times? Really? Oof. That's a sucky score. It's a treasure box. 96% recovered. What did I miss? Player's rank. Level 9 swordsman. I don't know what that means. Like, I really died four times? The fuck did I die four times? Okay, so I guess I was pro so I guess I was under leveled, but then my time would just get higher and that would Okay. I used 123 potions. I've taken 3,000 damage. I guess I've died four times. I guess I must have saved 85 times. Unless it just counts me touching it to heal up. Huh. I'm guessing how that works. But I'm really curious about the treasure box. The treasure's recovered. 96%. What did I miss? I have no idea. You know what? Fuck it. That's fine. Alrighty then, gah. So there we have it guys, the end of Xanadu Next. Oof. I think, okay, so it just kicks you back here. Gah. Anything like different? New? Eh. Yeah, so there we have it. The end of Xanadu Next. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I sure did. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos on my channel if you like what you saw. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can if you want to. If not, that's fine too. I am still taking requests for games. Just drop me a comment or an email or a message letting me know what game it is, and I'll look into it and give it a try. Otherwise, I want to continue working on a list of games that I have, and there's actually a game that I'm wanting to do that I've been really looking forward to getting it done. Or at least getting it started. It's probably going to take me a while to get it done, but I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you are too. And as always, this is Save Night. I will see you guys next game.